Judges, want to thank you guys for coming. Um, again, kind of describe the, the process to you. Uh, the kids created a, a spatula. Uh, we're talking about patents. So what they did is they created internal patents. So once a student created a, a patent, if you will, and put it on the board, it got recorded into a document, and another student couldn't use that patent. So it creates a variety of different styles of patents. So it kind of gives you an idea of how they have to think outside the box, you know, pretty regularly. And patents can change all the way up to the last, I think last three or four days when I stop accepting patents. So yeah, it allows them to keep working all the way up to that point. And if they decide that they um, don't like a patent or something like that, they cannot erase it. They have to own that patent. They keep that patent until uh, the end of the, the project. So that, like I said, creates a lot of different variances and, and a lot of different um, spatulas, as you'll see. Uh, the main things that we use, we use a CNC plasma cutter um, and the rapid prototype machine to, to make some of the parts. Um, it's a very basic thing. It seems like a spatula, um, but you'll see there's a lot of variances of it. And you want them to work, and there should be, and I have video of them all being tested. Um, some work better than others, of course. Um, but in the end of the day, they're, they're, they're very good. Like I said, all these kids are, are seniors in engineering. Um, most of them have had four years. Some of them have had a couple, but most of them have had four years. Um, not the easiest project in the world by, by far, but definitely um, a fun project. And like I said, I don't know if I've told said this already, the kids created 158 patents. So they were pretty much at, um, I, I've never had 158 patents, to be honest with you. Um, so they created, 158 patents that um, you know that they could only use with themselves. So that's a, that's a lot of patents. That's a, that's a pretty big deal. So first up is Amy Godell. Um, I have a list of. Uh, we'll go through the order real quick, and they have a maximum of five minutes to present it. And at the end of the day, we're going to pick two winners. All right, Amy, you're up. Okay, I don't have a presentation up on the uh, projector because there was an error with uh, my submitting and everything. Um, I made my spatula as the number 10, partly due to um, the fact that the patents uh, didn't allow me to use shapes or freeform shapes. So I was, I, had, I made a number. Um, my spatula is a foot and a half uh, long. It's about five inches at the, uh, the head and it weighs only seven tenths of a pound, so it's relatively lightweight. Um, the blade is sharpened and polished, and I did that by hand. I used a grinder, and then I filed it by hand, and then I also buffed it out. So it's shiny, it's smooth, it's really sharp. It's actually sharp enough to cut through a block of wood. <laughs> so, um, the, also the handle, um, I made it out of wood. I sanded it, I sealed it, and they have, it's held together with bolts, and I've made the bolts so they're flush, so it's very comfortable. And basically on my PowerPoint, you can't see it here, but um, it's a photo of me flipping the burgers. It shows it works, despite the hole. It actually didn't fall through, so, yep, that's it. for drafted and designed by me. What is special about this specific spatula, well, spatula was patented, so SP4T, um, is that it has the look of a normal, conventional, reliable spatula. Has the classic or semi-classic trapezoidal head, oval holes, with a curved edge to provide for easier burger flipping, and with a rough finger grip handle that can be improved upon. And what is special about this handle is that inside of it comes a built-in spice shaker that can be removed, refilled, and closed completely. If you want to refill it, you take this top off, put whatever spices you want in there, put it back on, and with a swivel lid, you can set it to be completely closed so it doesn't spill out. Have it been laying on the counter, you pick it up and forget. If it's closed, it shouldn't spill out. And then you just open it, shake out whatever spices you want. And obviously it's relatively small 
and that can admittedly provide for some safety concerns. However, as it says, said, it is a prototype and therefore can be improved. So with the length being a more or less about a foot, it is easier to hold, shake out the spices whenever, whenever you need it to. Um, obviously be careful because of the short length. It can effectively flip burgers. I did not remember to put the video in my presentation, but I assure you I do have one and I do have proof of it working. Um, the maximum width is about four inches and due to its overall small size, it should be relatively easy for storage. Um, it weighs about eight tenths of a pound, very lightweight, easier to shake with it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, if ABS plastic is dishwasher safe, the spatula itself is dishwasher safe, also with the removable back. Um, I currently cannot remove the back because I had to glue it in in order to keep it in for presentation purposes. But again, prototype can be fixed. Um, I believe that's about all. Um, yeah, the SB4T. Thank you for listening. All right, third up is Emma Feldman. Okay, so the name of my company is Pro Spatula Design Company. You can go to the next slide. Okay, so these are the key features about my spatula. Um, my spatula has a very classic design. Um, it's the classic like rectangle with three oval holes. You know, if it's not broken, why fix it? Why come up with something else? If it works perfectly fine. Um, the holes help to drain grease to keep your burgers healthy and it prevents messes. And then my spatula is also polished and so it's very aesthetically pleasing and there's a tapered edge on the end so you can easily scoop underneath your burger and then it's also good for cutting meat. Um, I'm a quality company. I offer employee benefits to all of my people and insurance. Uh, there's a brush located inside of the handle right here. Like It's going to make a noise. but. So it pops off, and then you can use this brush for marinating your meats or using sauces, and I used it to put sauces on my burger. It worked perfectly fine. And then there's also, I'm gonna have to put it on the floor, but there's this stand right here. And so it'll just like stand up like that. And so the head of the spatula, you won't cross contaminate on your counter, and it also helps with cleanup, and it keeps, it prevents messes. And then there's also an add-on on my spatula, and this is just a digital meat cooking clock, and so you can count down how long your meat has been cooking, and it'll tell you when it's done. And it's also magnetic, so you can just put it like on the handle, or you can take it off, and it, there's a clip on it, so you can put it somewhere else. Okay, go ahead and go to the next slide. Um, it's also teacher and dad approved. This is Mr. Lau. He was using my spatula to cook the burgers, and what dad doesn't like to barbecue, and he is a dad, so go ahead and go to the next one. Here's some celebrity quotes about my spatula. Go ahead. This spatula improved not only my burger quality, but my life. Bobby Clay, next one. This spatula is definitely the greatest of all time. Goat, Michael Phelps. This spatula is censored, amazing. Next one, Gordon Ramsay. And I love this spatula more than butter, Paula Dean. That's all. And that's the last time I've speak for today, but it's fine. So my spat, spatula, or the spatless, named after the cutlass, um, was made by my company, The Grillers of the Caribbean. And um, you can go ahead and run the video, I'm sorry. So the major focus of a lot of the spatulas is what can their second function do? And mine, being based off of the cutlass, can obviously cut things with this knife. Now, I know you're saying, Graham, this is a school and you have a knife, that's not okay. But it actually comes with a very nice uh, leather sheath that comes off and is also mag has magnets on it, so when it goes back on, it doesn't fall off. So it protects it very nicely. Um, but one of the biggest things that I focused on with this was design. And it may be, maybe the design came from patents messing up everything else, but that's fine. So the design of my spatula, as you might be able to see up there, but you can also see it down here, is a very twisted handle. And what the hand this allows to do it makes it give it a rugged look, but it also makes it very different. And that's what we focused on was having a different design. So the overall, the spatula is very rugged looking like a pirate. 
So it fits with our theme of our company and with my dress today very nicely. I'm a pirate with a couch, it's fine. So overall, it's slightly polished, slightly fixed, but it's just left rugged, looking rugged. Because we don't want you to go to another barbecue or go out grilling with all of your friends and you have a boring old spatula. Our focus is a nice looking, interesting spatula. And that's about it. Up next is Alex. So, as Mr. Laz introduced me, my name is uh, James Alex. I don't really care what you call me, James Alex Stephanatis, and I will be presenting the uh, the beef flipper to you. Right. And so, just a few. Uh, next slide, please. Right. Oh, back. Yep. Thank you. All right. So the first thing I want to address about the spatula is that it does have a shorter length. It is a little shorter than most spatulas, so that is a bit of a safety concern. Uh, so just uh, be careful whenever you're grilling. It does have a shorter length for easier storage. And one of the uh, main functions on this, it, it does have a serrated edge on it for cutting any meats you might have. The handle is slightly larger. It is a little larger than most handles. That's for people with larger hands. And it is a relatively, excuse me, cheap spatula to produce. Uh, next slide, please. All right, so why the edge? Why, wh what makes this spatula different from everything else? Why, why, is this, why is the knife edge an important part? Well, it's less tools to, tools to carry out to the grill. You don't need to carry your knife, and you don't need to carry a knife and a spatula. You can just take your spatula out there because it has a nice little edge on it, and it's less, less dishes to clean afterwards. So you don't have to wash a knife and a spatula, just the spatula. And also, if you don't want your children, say you're cooking, cooking hamburgers or steak for the kids, you don't have to let them handle the knives. You can just cut it with your spatula. And it's very simple, very fast, very easy to produce, and uh, with the simplicity of it, it does avoid unnecessary patent drama because let me tell you, it was a battleground. <laughs> Next slide, please. All right, and here's, this is, this is what we're here for. Why, 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 why should you buy this spatula? Sheer simplicity of it all. It has an octagonal head, octagonal uh, handle, excuse me, and just circular holes. It's very simple and it's very, it's, it has a very low price when you're buying the shape. It makes it stand out. It's not a square handle, or excuse me, a square head or handle. It's not a circular handle. It's not a trapezoid head. It's, it's octagonal. The shape helps it stands out. And in the end, we're here to flip burgers. We're here to cook steak. It gets the job done. That's, that's really all I have for you gentlemen. Thank you for listening. Well, I have the Killian's Irish Patty Flipper today. Oh, Patty, yeah. Oh, where'd, my, where'd it go? Okay, there, okay. Next slide, please. Okay, this is a great spatula, let me tell you that. So for one, it's interchangeable. Very simple, very simple to interchange. You use a pin, you got a screw. It's obviously a prototype, we'll have to fix that when we go into mass production. But very simple to clean, store, as Alex said, for storage. Stick this, put this wherever you need to. You can clean this up, make sure no grease gets everywhere. It's great stuff. As any sort of function, for the sake of the prototype, I use the grill brush, because you gotta clean your grill when you're done. You gotta keep everything clean and tidy. But you can use anything you want. You just tell me, I will build it for you, and you will have an interchangeable. It is, unfortunately, well fortunately for me, and unfortunately for other people, I did not have to deal very heavily in the pat um, patent war, because mine was original. It was very easy to patent because it had nobody had anything like this besides the interchangeable parts, but that's a different story. And then um, the grip is very comfortable. It's safe because it's a tacky grip. You don't have to deal with the plastic and everything else, and it's very simple to use. It's great stuff. And it has the interchangeable head, as I said, and it's made in the U.S. And that is the key here because we got to bring it back for the economy and produced by a local graduate, hopefully, because I am a senior, but we will find out. Next slide. The great thing about this is it's far enough away from the grill it won't burn you and if there's a grease splatter it will not hit you because it is far enough away from and that and then it's a polished head with a chamfered edge so you don't have to deal with the whole sticking to the burger and everything it just slides right underneath 
And it, we can, as I said, you can produce anything. And it comes with a matching grill plate, which is hanging on Lyle's wall to put your whatever you need. So say if you get a grill brush and you get another function, you could set it on the matching little grill plate so it doesn't get all over your grill. And get all over your Next slide, please. So my proceeds. My plan for my proceeds is every fourth spatula we sell, we will give one of these patty flippers to the schools and homeless shelters so they can flip their burgers or whatever they need to do to flip. We will also provide it for people who help others. Anybody that helps anybody else with food and cooking, we will give them a free spatula. And if we are ma mass produced, we would like to give back to the robotics team because that's who they helped. They help with us and help produce me. And so it is produced in the U.S., so we'd like to create jobs and promote the economy. And that is it for my Killian's Irish Patty Flipper. Up next is Matt Pickens. Okay, this is my beef turner, obviously made and by me. Uh, some of the uh, features has a bent shaft to make it easier to scoop your burgers or whatever you're going to flip it. Uh, a hexagonal handle, which makes it comfortable for really anybody, which you can see after the presentation how comfortable it is. Uh, the head is five inches in diameter with holes to let grease run through to have a nice clean burger. And really the asset to having this is your bottle opener because, you know, when you're grilling on a hot summer day, bare necessity is a ice cold drink while you're grilling. So you'll always have this. So you never have to go into your fridge and find one. Uh, it's actually very, but pretty cheap to make it only costs about nineteen dollars to make so be selling these for about twenty five bucks so everybody's making money in the end and that's all I got Are you guys ready over there? Yep. All right, sweet. So let's go to the next slide. This is a spat to electric boogaloo. Uh, there's a picture of it if you can't see it. Oh well. There it is as well. Uh, we can skip again. All right, so let's talk about the history of the spat. Uh, first off, we had the spat one, which didn't actually exist at all. Uh, I only had the spat one, so that way we could call this the spat to electric boogaloo. Uh, and then the Great Patent War of 2016 came around, which messed up everyone. And then we had the prototype, and after the prototype, we had to hold the first spat in Congress <laughs> in order to determine what to do with the spat. And then finally, we have the spat to electric boogaloo, and it's all glory. Uh, we you move on here? Uh, logistics about the spat. It's about, <laughs> it's about a foot and four inches long, which is actually really good because it keeps you super safe. It's only four inches wide, but that fits any burger you need to flip, and about two pounds, which is a little heavy, but it's not as unwieldy when you actually use it. And since you're not allowed to determine anything based on price, it's from $1 to $100. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna have to be clicking a lot here. We determined it based on four points, if you wanna click for me. First point, uniqueness. Second point, functionality, safety, character, and duct. <laughs> Let's move on. So a lot of things keep it unique because patents really help. So you have the patented hexagonal head, one, two, three, four, five, six, an arc-shaped handle, which is way less comfortable than it looks. Uh, and then the really important part is the patented grease guard. <laughs> Let's uh, move on, I don't want to say that. Uh, what it can do, it can flip burgers, it can flip hot dogs. I don't think <laughs> you'd ever need to flip a hot dog, but it can. Uh, it can also cut into burgers with this. It doesn't look sharp and it's not sharp, but when you put enough force on it, it cuts into the burger. Back right here, you can scoop ice cream with it. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. Uh, you can also throw tennis balls with it, which is pretty cool. Sadly, it can't find a good Adam Sandler movie because those don't exist. Uh, but it is extremely safe. 
Uh, the grease guard helps keep it from tearing because you just go right under it and it backs up here. It doesn't go onto the shaft itself. It keeps your arm safe from grease while flipping. And just owning the grease guard protects your vows of celibacy. Let's move on. All right, character. It represents me a lot because it's really awkward. No one really wants to touch it, but it's decent enough once you figure it out. <laughs> That's all I've got. All right, next up is Kenny Campbell. to say that I really can't follow up on those jokes, but um, if you go to the next slide, I have all of my personal patents listed, and the 2016 uh, patent war was a real thing. 156 patents really was hard to get around, and um, you honestly had to know or have an idea of like the first day of school with what you were going to make and everything, so um, here are the list of my patents. If you go to the next slide, it excites the uh, originality. The shape of my spatula has a point no pointed nose for easier catching on the burgers because we all know that in a grill it's really hard to like flip a burger if you don't have a chamfered edge or um, something to actually like first reach the burger. Um, it's also bent for convenience and as you can see my head never touches the ground so also there is no cross contamination. Um, there is personalization on the head as you can see um, I drive a Jeep, so I wrote Jeep on it, but um, any logo emblem that you would like on it, as long as it's more than four words, we are able to do just because of space. And then my longer shaft gives less chance of burning, as well as um, the ground down edges for safety. So because it's made on the plasma cutter, it is really hard with steel to not have sharp edges. So make sure to grind all that, grind all that down for everybody. Um, with the handle, it has personal personalized ridges for comfort and um, next slide Ready. and um, the thumb rest for stability on the front so it really does fit anybody's hand left and right handed it's comfortable um, in the very end of it there is a spare compartment and you can hold anything there um, they make smaller thermometers that fit in here I didn't have one today but um, for the way that we make burgers, we always bring all the condiments and out to the grill, on all the condiments out to the grill, so we all, we're always needing toothpicks. So just put toothpicks in there, and it fits about 80 to 100 toothpicks, so you're never going to run out of toothpicks. Um, it could be used as a sauce injector, spice holder, brush holder, or you could put a thermometer in it. Um, and then with packaging, we do have a patent on packaging through our company, and um, you can patent or you can put anything. Um, or you can place anything inside the package. With the functionality, I do have a video of my uh, spatula in use. The tip point is the featured point on my spatula, as well as the fact that the head it allows it to flip small and large burgers. Um, the drip, or the, it, it allows grease drip due to the engravings on the head, as well as the extra compartment on the end is very useful for functionality. So Maddie, if you want to play that video.
So this is one of the videos, the Swiss Army Spatula. And basically it's designed to be an all-in-one type of video. You can have one handle, and then you can have, hard to hit them all here, but right now I've got four attachments. So there's two spatula heads, and a drill brush, and then a drill fork that you can have. And essentially how it works is if you have a spatula in it right now, you can have, if you would like a drill fork, you can remove the two-part handle. Set that off to the side. And it's just really easy to put the drill fork in there. And there's like two tabs if you can see those. And it just it keeps it all in line together. And they're really strong magnets, and you can put it there. And then just every attachment you want on there, um, you can just use it, and it all works. And if you saw in the video, um, another good advantage of it is that magnets are really rather strong, so you can actually stick it to the side of a drill since most of them are metal and it will just hold itself there on the side of the grill so that way you're not setting it down and getting it dirty or anything. And then, like I said, I encourage you to look, like, look just past being a spatula and you know, just look past these four and think there's unlimited attachment ideas you can have with this. Um, you can have anything like tongs, any kind of spatula, and it's just anything you can think of you could put, put with this handle. And it would just be really nice because it would save a lot of money into buying you know, a separate you know, separate attachments for every single thing. So that way you got, you know, everything will have a separate handle on it. Well, that drives the cost up because you have a handle on everything. And this saves a lot of money because you have one handle and a lot of other attachments with it. Anybody have any questions or? I do. Okay. What is, the, can you change the size of the handles or size of the spatulas? I'm, I'm sure it's, it will be reached, but I haven't been able to. This is the bulkiest of the ones so far, and it has no issue whatsoever holding the spatula. And this is the one I actually used in the video. If you saw it, I, it was held upside down on the grill, and it still wasn't falling out. So I'm sure there's probably a limit that can be reached, but it would be very difficult to, to get to that point. Okay. Zach, since you've asked for questions, I have a question. Okay. Whenever you ask for questions, you better be prepared for questions. Uh, a lot of pieces. Yeah. Is there a nice container that comes with that so you don't lose your pieces? As of right now, no. But I have considered, you know, designing that so that way it would, you know, it would save because you only have these attachments and not bulky handles for every single thing. You could have a lot smaller of a package because all you're doing is having, you know, the flat pieces and then just the one handle. So it would save a lot of room in packaging overall. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Last up, Matt Pickens. Okay, so this device right here is a mat spat. It, is, uh, it doesn't infringe any patents anywhere. I have all my separate ideas patented. If you would go to the next slide, please. These are some of the ideas I will touch on. There will be a video playing in the background. If you go to the next slide, you should highlight over that, and there will be a play button on the bottom. Bottom left. And you can just turn the volume on down. There's no sound there. Oh, please play. <laughs> okay, it's a video of myself. Uh, this video starts off with the great scraper, not a grill brush because grill brush was patented. A great scraper uh, cleaning off the grill before uh, the burgers lay on the grill. And then uh, just the burgers cooking, flipping, just proving that it works and it works uh, very well. Uh, the spatula is multifunctional, as I stated before, it has a great scraper on it so you can clean your grill before, after, during your grilling, whatever you choose to do. Uh, it's got an ergonomic design on it, the handle is, uh, it's all sanded down, it's very comfortable, no sharp edges anywhere. Uh, it's rugged, it's made from uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 8 inch, eight inch steel and uh, there's 
really no corners cut anywhere on it. It's pretty much just solid steel. There's going to be no bending, no uh, damage to the spatula for the time you own it. Uh, it is safe. The great scraper has uh, little rubber knobs on the end of them because it is slightly sharp, but it is designed to wear that as you're grilling, the great scraper does not get in the way of any motion of your arm as you are flipping the burgers. Uh, as I said before, it's comfortable. The handle is it's very smooth and uh, no sharp edges and everything. And uh, I just, <clears throat> in the video I went on to talk about a, uh, how much of a truly premium spatula it, spatula it is, uh, made from ABS plax, plastic and steel. Um, that's pretty much it. All right, that concludes uh, EDD's spatula presentations. I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, like I said, it, it's been a long time coming to get to this point. Uh, they joked about the patent wars. It got pretty ugly there for a while. Uh, we weren't very much friendly, uh, pretty cold. But in the end, uh, you, you see they came up with some pretty good products, uh, working around different ideas of different kits, so it works out well. So thank you guys for coming, and that's it. Thank you.